Advent um, reading. To be alive is to desire, to hope, and to dream. The Bible is a book about desires, hopes, and dreams. In Genesis, the story begins with God's desire for a good and beautiful world in which we are a part. Unfortunately, as human history unfolds, we see that some of us desire the power to kill and enslave or oppress others. Enslaved and oppressed, people hope for liberation. Desires, hopes, and dreams inspire action, and that's what makes them so different from a wish. Wishing is a substitute for action. In contrast, desires, hopes, and dreams for the future guide us in how we act now. The prophet Isaiah energizes our imagination and says, they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn the war anymore. This prophet also says, a hook shall come out of the stump of David's father, Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his root. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him. The wolf shall live with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion and the fatling together, and the little child shall lead them. <clears throat> they will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. In the centuries between the time of the prophets and the birth of Jesus, these prophetic dreams never completely died. Yes, conditions for the people improved in some limited ways with each empire that controlled them. <clears throat> but the promises were never completely fulfilled either. Romans seized power, subjugating and humiliating the Jews and testing their hope as never before. To remain alive in people like Elizabeth and Zechariah, Mary and Joseph, and even among humble shepherds who lived at the margins of society. To be alive in the adventure of Jesus is to have a desire, a dream, a hope for the future. It is to translate that hope for the future into action in the present and to keep acting in light of it, no matter the disappointments, no matter the setbacks and delays. So let us begin this Advent season by lighting a candle for the prophets who proclaim their hopes, desires, and dreams. Let us keep their flame glowing strong in our hearts, even now. <clears throat> 